So you may not know it yet, but you know base 10 already. Base 10 is called decimal. Decim meaning 10, and mol meaning base number system. But since it's base 10, there are 10 digits which you can use. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. After that, we need a second digit, a tens place. So let's say we wanted to use a different base number system, like base 6. Why 6? Why not 6? So, with base 6, we need the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's 6 digits. Pause the video and count them if you don't believe me. So, how do we write 10 normally? Usually, we see it looks like this. That's because we have a 10s digit followed by a 1s digit. The only difference in base 6 is that it's a 6 digit followed by a 1s digit. 6 in base 6 looks like this. 2 in base 2 also looks like this. 33 in base 33 also looks like this. In fact, every number in its own base number system is written like this. Why? Well, let's look at decimal one more time. This number is called 328. This digit means three hundreds. This digit means two tens. And this digit means eight ones. If we look closer, one looks a lot like 10 to the power of zero. 10 looks a lot like 10 to the power of one. 100 looks a lot like 10 to the power of two. Continuing this, 1,000 is 10 to the power of three. So a one placed in a particular digit is the same as the base number to a power based on the location of the digit. So back to base six. We call this the ones digit, or six to the power of zero. We call this the sixes digit, or six to the power of one. We call this the 36s digit, or six to the power of two. And we call this the, so question, what's 36 times six? Cool, thanks, 216. Glad to know we can still do simple multiplication. So this is the 216s digit. Let's say we wanted to turn this base 10 number into a base 6 number. First, we see how many 216s we can take from it. We can take 1, so this digit is 1, and we have 112 left. From 112, how many 36s can we take out of it? Cool, thanks, 3. So 3 is the next digit, and we have 4 left over. Next, how many 6s can we take out of it? I know you can take 4 divided by 6, it's 0. And finally, how many 1s are there left? 4. So this is how we write our final number properly pronounced as 328. What do you mean it doesn't look like 328? Of course it is. Haven't you seen the number 328 written out before? Boy, figuring out which base we're using could get confusing. If only there was some type of indicator saying which base it was. Wait, there is. Add a subscript of the base to the end. Now we're talking. All right, cool. But now I want to do base 16. But whoa, whoa, whoa. The numbers zero through nine all take up one digit. But now we need to write 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 as single digit numbers. And for those of you keeping track, these are not single digit numbers. Then some guy came in and said, hey, what are those weird symbol things that people used to do algebra? Oh yeah, letters. Let's use letters. Let's say A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. If you've ever seen base 16 numbers, you'll recall that every digit is either zero through nine or one of the first six letters of the alphabet. This is why. So let's translate the same base 10 number into a base 16 number. So let's grab our ones digit, our 16s digit, and our 256s digit. I hope you know how to multiply 16 by 16. Anyways, we can scoop out one 256 with 72 left. Then we can pull out four 16s, leaving eight. Finally, the last digit is eight. And there you have it, our final number, pronounced 328. Want to add or subtract numbers in a different base number system? Great, it's exactly the same as base 10, but now you borrow or carry whatever the base number is instead of borrowing or carrying 10. Now here's the true question. Why do base number systems exist? Well, a better question is more like, why do we use systems besides base 10? Think of every base number system as a language. If everyone spoke English, life and culture would be bland. On top of that, we'd have no way of explaining concepts that only make sense in other languages. Small base numbers, like two, are useful because they don't have many options for what their digits could be, one or zero. Larger base numbers, like 16, are useful because they significantly reduce the amount of digits you have to type, which can save storage space for things like color hex codes. Also, fun fact, a hex code is just three base 16 numbers that each range from 0, 0 to FF, or 0 to 255 in a base 10, describing the amount of red, green, and blue respectively in a color. The most common bases are 10, because it's what we all use, base 2, or binary, because it's what computers use, base 16, or hexadecimal, because it's a power of 2 and bigger than 10, so it saves on digits, and base 8, because it's a power of 2 that's pretty close to 10. Great, that's everything you need to know.